you guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am back with another cosplay look today we are going to be cosplaying as sasuke from naruto i already have these red contact lenses in to kind of mimic a sharingan but these ones are from ttdi in the shade magic red i do have an affiliate code with them as well if you guys would like to use but these two photos are my reference um, one is of sasuke and i actually did flip the photo so that way it was easier for me to reference and then the other the photo was from Peachy Petals on Instagram. I love her cosplay looks and she has inspired me so much to do so much more cosplay this year so I referenced her photo as well. Pretty much I'm gonna start off right on my bare skin. I do have my skincare on but I'm gonna go in with my black liquid liner. This one is from UZU. It's my favorite. It's very pointy and it just feels like you're using a normal ink pen. I am pretty much just going to create these little almost like squiggly lines again using the reference photo is very helpful um, and you can see me constantly looking down sometimes i reference the actual sasuke photo but then sometimes i will reference peachy petals so i just do a mixture of both and honestly once you get the hang of these squiggly lines it gets much easier and the reason why i'm doing it on my bare skin is because if i mess up i can just take it off which i did include in this video just so you guys can see like the behind the scenes not everything goes to plan there's so many times where I film and I take everything off and redo it and it's just makeup and that's what it is like you can take it off at the end of the day so I just wanted to do it on my bare skin um, because if I messed up I could take it off and I did mess up a lot but yeah I guess there's not really much to explain because I'm really just referencing the photos but you can see here that I'm just doing a quick draft the lines aren't sharp it's really rough looking I just want to get the overall shape and shading and the placement I have a lot of struggle doing my forehead for some reason i think i did my forehead like three or four times until i finally got it right the thing that i noticed with my forehead is that i wanted the lines a little bit thinner when i was referencing the actual anime photo i felt like i was doing the lines too big and when i was referencing peachy petals i felt like i was doing my lines too big so i think on my forehead i need to do the lines a bit skinnier and at the end it worked out And now I'm just going in with my concealer. This one is from Too Faced. It's their Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. And I'm pretty much putting this all over my face where my skin is showing. I'm going to use this as my base, as my concealer. You can see the coverage is amazing. I love this concealer so much. So I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty sponge. And then I'm also going to take the concealer onto a little brush and go around the little squiggly lines. This is going to help clean up and shine sharpen the lines and it's also going to cover up our bare skin as well to make our complexion even and the brush i'm using is from juno and co i'll leave a link down below i think it's a really great brush for detailing because it's super small and the curve of it really hugs the squiggly lines um so that was really easy to use use a brush to apply the concealer on and then i'll dab it out with my beauty sponge Now I'm just going to set my concealer in place. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the shade Butter. And I'm pretty much just using this again all over my face to set down that concealer. So we are looking a little bit more matte and not as shiny. And now I'm going to start filling in my brows. You can see that I am drawing them on super straight, straighter than usual. I want them to look, I don't know, kind of angry, but I do fill them in with black eyeshadow because I want them to appear super dark. 
I'm going into the ColourPop All That eyeshadow palette and taking the shade Silhouette and I'm going to literally apply this all over my lid, blending that up towards my crease area, smoking that out, blowing it out. I think this is like the perfect red grungy shadow and I'm just taking my time blending this out and getting it diffused and then I'll also take that onto my lower lash line dragging it down quite low just getting this blown out Now I am using that same liquid liner that I use for the marks. I am going to create a pretty dramatic wing to really tie in the look. I will be tight lining my bottom lash line with the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Hustler and then I'm going to start prepping my lashes by giving them a good curl and applying mascara to the top and bottom lashes. And for my lashes, I am wearing these ones from Petite Cosmetics in the style Pom Pom. They're pretty full, very fluffy and wispy and I just thought it was the perfect dramatic lash for this eye look. I'm now going to go in with my contour shade and I'm just going to chisel out my cheekbones ever so slightly and also my jawline just to, you know, make my face appear a little bit smaller because all these anime characters do not have a baby face. <laughs> well, besides Choji, I guess, but I'm I'm also going to use that same shade to contour my nose and I'm also adding a little bit of highlighter to the high points of my nose to make it appear smaller and also at my inner corners and brow bone. And now for lips, I went in with the ColourPop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Big Bang, but I thought it was a bit too red, so I went in with the shade Hermosa and I thought it was the perfect shadow and I'm doing more of like a gradient lip, I think, I don't know, it just suits this look a little bit better when it's a gradient lip, so I went with that. And this, you guys, is the completed Stage 2 Sasuke-inspired cosplay makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much if you did. Doing these cosplay looks are so fun, but they're also very nerve-wracking because I know it's just so different on my channel. Also, it makes me a little bit nervous uploading them. So if you guys do enjoy them, please give it a thumbs up. It also helps with the algorithm and more people can see these cosplay looks. But be sure to let me know what you guys think down below and what other cosplay looks would you guys like to see from me but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye